Hi, this is Stephen Kravis from the band 2012 BC, and this is a video uh, instruction on how to embed a video on your own site. So first you find the video that you want on YouTube, and in this case I'm going to search Fairies Dancing, that's the name of the song of ours that I'm looking for, and I'm going to put the name of our band 2012 BC and search it. And under these advertised um, search results, I get the first real search result is this song, Fairies Dancing. And I click to it. So the first thing is get to the video that you want. And you can pause it because you don't need it playing while you uh, get the share code. So right under it, there's a button called Share. You click it, and uh, you choose the word Embed. But before you do that, you see this link right here? you can actually copy that link and if you have a Facebook account when you post it uh, when you paste that link into a post it actually will make the video appear right in the post so that's all you need is the link for Facebook and uh, I'm gonna just add something additional here And I click post on Facebook. And now, as you can see, the video can be played right within the Facebook page. So that's one way to embed it. Um, the other way is that you might want to put this uh, embedded right on your website page. And that's where this embed button comes in handy. You click that and right away you get code and the default code is for a pretty good uh, standard size of 560 wide and if you want to make that slightly smaller or bigger or some other specific size you can uh, just type in the other size down here and it will generate that's the width that I type in and it generates the height that relates is a good ratio to that width and it puts those numbers right up here in the code. Now, um, if you uh, want to make sure that when the video is done that people see other options to uh, see related videos, you can check mark this or make sure that it's check marked. But I actually recommend that you keep that unchecked. So if you see it check marked by default, I actually think it's a better idea not to show related videos at the end because you really want people to stay within your website and not go off into other um, video topics that are by other people. So, um, and also I would not recommend using the old embed code because the old embed code probably will not show up on uh, Apple uh, mobile devices like iPads, iPhones, or um, iPod touches. So just check, uh, just uncheck all of them, and uh, that's usually the best setting. Now I set this for 400 width, and I'm just going to highlight the code. I'm going to copy it, which you can do on Mac with um, Command C. We'll copy it, or you can Control right click, or Control click, which is like a right click on a PC. Copy. So on PC, you would just right-click, copy. And then on your site page, you would just go to um, whatever is your page, and you would paste it in there. But notice if you're on WordPress, you have to make sure you're not on the Visual tab. You have to be on the HTML tab, because that's where special code like this goes. So you paste the uh, code into there. And when I update the page and view it, I should see the video is there and it can be pay, uh, played right within there. Notice a person still has settings, like they can play high definition, they can even switch to full screen, which is great. Um, now, you might be using uh, a program to design your own web pages, such as Dreamweaver. In that case, you would take that same embed code, but you would uh, paste it between the body area of um, 
the two body elements, the beginning body tag and the ending body tag. Anywhere between that, this code will work. So I'm going to paste it right there. And in Dreamweaver, it just looks like a gray blank square. But once you upload it to your site, you will see that it does work um, as the video. Um, you also might want to put some kind of other surrounding text near your video. So in the code area, I'm going to type a line space, meaning a, a, a space down, just to give some space between the video and the text. And I'm going to say, check out Alicia's voice and Liza's images. Um, if I wanted to put a link back to my main site, for example, up in the code area, this is this also would go for WordPress in the HTML tab. I would type a h r e f equals quote, and I give the full link with the HTTP 2012bc.com, and if I wanted to open up on a new page. I do target equals quote underscore blank and I put the word there so click for the 2012 BC site backwards arrow and the A tag so it looks like that and down here this part would be where they could click right to the website um, and that's pretty much it.